Rich, a, uh, a good result today uh, at Workington. You must be delighted to come away with, with the two points. Yeah, it's, it's always difficult to come up here. Um, putting in a performance that you can be proud of and come away with a victory is important. I did think there were some elements to our game uh, that we disappointed by. Uh, no disrespect to the opposition whatsoever, but I thought we should have scored more points. Um, I thought we turned the ball over far too many times. A good indication of a team playing well is when you score that you that you back that up with a with a completed set and get get down and kick chase. And I think we we, we turned the ball over three or four times after we'd scored, which is disappointing. And uh, we need to fix that up. We need. We need to fix that up. Uh, get, we've got a tough run over the next few weeks against uh, some, some reasonable opposition, so we need to fix that up. You always talk about maybe being able to defend your errors. You, you were able to do that, did you say, make some errors from the kickoffs off from, of a piece of play, but only conceding one try today, you must be pleased with that. I think we've. Uh, I think the players back the defence. Uh, they, they feel they're a good defensive team, and, I, and, I, and I'm with them on that. I, I think they make it difficult for the opposition to score, if at all. Um, you know, we, we, we pushed uh, Workington around the park there defensively. So when you're doing that with to a team without the ball, you know you're doing you're doing something right. We did do too much of it though. We did do too much defending as a result of us turning the ball over and giving away a couple of penalties. Albeit um, we were playing the ball fast on our terms and got penalised several times for doing that, which I thought was uh, was something that you know we need to be better at. But also uh, the referee, you know, a bit more consistent in that area. Um, but yeah, defensively we, we were good, and to limit the Workington to one try when they, they played so well last week was was testament to our team. Good defence and at times good attack. Some nice tries. Mitch got a nice, nice, nice line in the, in the second half, and, and Gareth Potts came back in the side and got two tries as well. He must be pleased with him coming back in and making such an impact. Yeah, Mitch uh, hit a real good line, didn't he, and, and carried on running. I didn't think he was going to put the ball down. He just carried on running. Put it over down. He's done that. He's, he's, he's scored some important tries for us this year, Mitch. Uh, so that that was good for us. Gareth coming in uh, and taking his chance very well. Um, on the other wing, I thought Tommy was very good. Tommy Tommy Saxon's been quietly probably our best performer over the last few weeks. Uh, he's, he's solid under the eye ball. He gets in. He gets in. He does his work. Gets the team playing forward. Gets his footwork. He's got an offload game. So that's that's great when the forwards are, are, are running back on side and we've got Tommy. Uh, disrupting the the defence in the opposition, that's something that we can swear by. Uh, Adam played well as well coming to the team, and uh, and I, he, he's not played for 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 four or five weeks. So to come in, I probably brought him off at the wrong time. Uh, I thought he had a little bit more in the tank, but uh, in terms of the team, the dynamics of the team, he probably needed a rest. Did make quite a few changes today, a lot of in, in force with, with injury. What can you tell us about them injuries and any kind of time period on those as well? Well, Danny Craven couldn't play today because of his shoulder shoulder injury from last week. Fingers crossed he'll be OK for next week. Um, we're going to lose Luke, Ryan and, uh, and Robbo uh, for, the, for, the, for a couple of months, unfortunately. But then there's opportunities for everybody else within the team. And I was pleased that Jacob got his... Uh, uh, got a game in on it under his belt today. Tyler, we've got another one in there. Ed as well. So we're trying to build a bit of form, some confidence going forward. Um, again, yeah, defensively we're we're very happy with. We, we know that whether a player is a front row, winger, fullback, that they're going to be solid defensively. And that's good for us. We've we've been a little short on numbers. Are you kind of relishing the prospect of working with some of these players that you know, the Halifax fans haven't seen much of? You you know you, you mentioned Tyler and Ed. There. Does it is, does that give you pleasure in working with these players and trying to improve them? I get yeah, I do get pleasure with working with this group. I think they're a great group, very exciting, and uh, you know, and that sometimes can hurt you as well. Uh, yeah, I, I, as long as they're developing and working in the right areas, uh, you know, I'm, I'm confident that we can improve the team on a weekly basis. Uh, they're challenging each other. That's a good thing in there. You know, we're sat in there. And we've, we've come to Workington, you know, and we've put in a real good performance. We've, con we've conceded only six points, and the team aren't happy. It's not a happy dressing room. Uh, they're disappointed with, with, with the performance that they've put in there. So, as a coach, I'm like, this is good. You know, we're onto something here. Uh, when, when we're not going to settle for mediocrity, you know, we need we need to be at our best every single week. And that goes on to next week. Feverson, if you can briefly on that, what, what can we expect from them and what can we expect from us? We, we aim to improve after today. Yeah, we will be have to, have to be at our best next week. Feverson are a top team. We've been there and thereabouts over the last few years. Uh, it's never easy to go over to Featherstone. You know, they get a good crowd and good support. And 
and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be an interesting game for us, one that we're looking forward to. Um, we played them obviously early on in the season, had a good fist of it, and then they probably pulled away from us. I think we're a different team now. Uh, I think defensively we're a different team. Offensively, we're going to have to fix up uh, a lot offensively if we're going to if we're going to match up with Featherstone this week.